Let's look at using effects in surround. Now, on a mono track and stereo track, we all know that we can use the option key to force between the different available formats. So, for example, just to give you a simple illustration of compressor, there's a mono compressor. That's what I would expect on a mono input. I can hold down option and go there and get stereo. Now, if I'm on the stereo track, I hold down compressor and I get stereo or dual mono. This is nothing new. And I can hold down option and I get mono as an alternative. Now, on the surround input, I can go to compressor and get multi mono, which we're going to look at. And I can hold down option and get mono or stereo. So some plugins come in true surround format and some come in what are called multi channel format. So, for example, here on this surround input track, I can click on delay designer or space designer and we get a true 5 1 format in this case. And here we get this little panner where we can pan around and make the changes we need. Or if I go to something like maybe modulation and chorus, again, we get 5 1 where it's just processing in a true five in, five out kind of way. Same thing with maybe Space Designer. We get five one, and there I get the center channel and LFE separately and so on. But effects that are not available as true surround effects can be inserted as multi-channel effects in surround channels. Like, for example, let's say something like EQ, channel EQ. We have only multi-mono. There's not a surround format. So here we get a multi-channel version with this advanced plugin header. Now, by looking at this, we can see this hyphen means we're getting stereo left and right. And we have the couple button so that we can just use the left channel to make changes to both. We have the left surround, the right surround, and the center channel. And then we have the LFE channel separately. Now, we can click this ellipses to configure things how we want. So, for example, maybe on this channel, maybe I have, I don't know, a guitar part, and I want to EQ the left and the left surround the same. I can assign them to groups. So I'm going to put this to group B and this to group B as well. And maybe I want to assign the right and the right surround on its own as well. I'll put that to group C. And then I have the LFE that's independent. I can assign it to a group if I want to, and I have the center channel. But now if I click back in the plugin header, I'll see that I have separate instances based on the groupings that I created. So there's my center channel EQ, and I can have different settings for that. And then there's the left and left surround. Maybe I want to do something like that. And there's the right and right surround. Maybe I want to do something like that. And there's the LFE channel. And you can see that they're all independent based on the way I have things grouped. Now, let's say maybe I have a sub kick here, very low kick, and I want to route it to the LFE channel only. What I can do is maybe assign everything to group A. And the LFE I don't need to assign because it's already available as a separate channel. I'll click back here and I can just zero everything and even pull it all the way down if I want. And the LFE, maybe I want to filter everything below about 120 or so, which is kind of common for an LFE channel. And I can make this as steep as I want and maybe adjust the Q there to get a little bump if I want that in the processing. And then I can. Go to the surround balancer in this case, maybe just turn everything off. Make sure that's dialed down. And now I'm just sending to the LFE. That'd be one way to do that. Now we can insert chains of plugins. They don't all have to be the same format and Logic will take care of up mixing or down mixing where necessary. Maybe after this, I wanna put in a stereo compressor or something. And then maybe I wanna go to another delay, maybe tape delay. And I'll go to a multi mono format of that. And again, we got the same plugin header here where I can configure things as I want. And just for fun, let me bring up my project settings. And if I was to switch this to 7.1, just to show you, things will update. And now we have the side speakers added. And same thing in the panner over here. You'll see we have the additional elements available. I just wanted to point that out and I'll just revert back to 5.1. So we can again configure if I want maybe one set of delays on there and on the left and right, and maybe nothing on the center and maybe nothing on the LFE. And maybe I want another set of delays that are going to be the same on the rear speakers. Just an idea. I'll click in the plugin header here and there's our left side, right side, and, and the hyphen again indicates that it's stereo and then left, right. So I can have different settings for each, for example. And then I can always go back into the 
configuration here and just literally turn off the delay going to the LFE in the center. So that's a little quick start for working with multi-channel effects. We'll continue with more in the next video.